think it's um, it's a really creative solution to one of the most pressing problems we are facing actually as a country. In South Africa, we have to alleviate stress on ESCOM for the need for electricity and we need to take it into our own hands. It just shows what leadership of a school can do and it also shows the importance of collaboration between different stakeholders. One of the critical issues for us has been the extremely high cost of the green solutions for particularly schools because they are big properties, they use a lot of electricity and water. So any partnership that can assist our schools like this one where we, they don't have to have a huge capital outlay makes a huge difference for us. Welcome to Protea Heights Academy, a school that strives to provide in globally superior education to its learners. We are really excited to be a part of the Sun Exchange platform that will enable us to go solar. We are here today to show you what PHA is all about. You get a feeling of innovation happening here. I want to send kids into the world that are going to be able to reinvent themselves, relearn, get us to Mars, find a cure for AIDS. Our school offers various platforms for our learners to innovate and be creative. Our school has a hydroponic system outside, we have 3D printing, we have robotics at the schools. Being a new school, we try and push the boundaries as far as we possibly can within legislation. All the rainwater gets filtered down through pipes into a tank farm down at the bottom of the school. We use half a litre of water per person per day. So to now have the solar panels meets the vision of the school. To show the learners what the future will look like. It has a whole lot of other benefits than just the energy savings that it brings to school. We need to create new ambassadors that are advocates around climate change and understand that climate change is a real thing and not a myth. I think Sun Exchange is a hugely innovative idea that you don't need capital to put up the system, you are able to sell it on the open market. It works so much better for the end user, the beneficiary, as in the school, but also for the people who are buying their little slices of the solar power, in a sense that they're able to benefit from it financially, and then the school in itself is able to benefit from getting clean energy. Airbnb, they don't own property. Uber doesn't own cars. So why should we as a school own all this stuff? The next step for schools is to, once they're on solar panels, is eventually we're hoping to be able to afford the battery pack up so that they're not subjected to load shedding when load shedding happens. It needs to be rolled out to as many schools as possible. Our municipal bills for most schools is their biggest outlay of money. It's their biggest expense in their budget. And so that will assist the school to use that money for education. Tommy Mommies is really excited to be the chosen charity for this project. It started off with four loaves of bread. Today, currently, we're spending over 100 loaves of bread per week. We're working with three soup kitchens. We're working very closely with Tigerberg Children's Hospital. We work with three old age homes, orphanage in Clipperville. And our new baby is a home in Boston, which is for unexpected pregnancies. And we are able to help those moms collect clothing and food and everything in that line. Passion with just all the volunteers and myself is just to help the less fortunate and the needy. So the more funds we can get in, the more people we are able to help. 